Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. One day closer to Friday. Thank God. Okay. <clears throat> what insanity here. Uh, you know, I mean, pick something. I guess, you know, on a good side of things, I guess uh, the pipeline is, Colonial Pipeline looks like they're going to reopen it. Ooh, gee, you know what? Maybe they, their little plan didn't work uh, <clears throat> because... You know, all of a sudden they were saying, oh, by the end of the week and then blah, 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 and all the gas shortages and people freaked out and, you know, <clears throat> Biden Biden and the administration saying, you know, don't hoard gas, which don't buy gas. I mean, sorry, you know, people got to go to work. Uh, you know, we all know you're going to jack up the prices, but, you know, maybe there's a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel on that one. We'll see. You know, again, still, the... Uh, hack, if you will, didn't affect the distribution. Uh, it was, you know, the internal workings of the company, but for some reason, the gas stopped flowing. So, you know, somebody explain that one to me. But that's not the point of today. I wanted to talk about gambling with your life, okay? And you probably have an idea where I'm going with this, but this is this has gotten to the point of silly stupid, Okay, uh, we've all heard the stories about Krispy Kreme giving a donut if you go get the jab or Budweiser giving you a free beer. I mean, if anybody's seen the stupid Spike Lee commercials that I've talked about, you know, donate a ride to Uber so your neighbors can, uh, you know, get transportation to go get the jab. You know, it's it's silly, stupid stuff, okay? You know, and a lot of the states have come up with just dumb promotions. You know, uh, Maine will give you a, a free hunting license or a free fishing license if you get the jab. You know, we know the story on New York and the tickets to Mets-Yankees games. Uh, <clears throat> Chicago was a hilarious one. Uh, I love that one. Uh, if you go get the jab in Chicago, you will be eligible to attend the Protect Chicago Music Series, a series of free concerts. Ooh, well, you know, considering how broke the city of Chicago is, the only incentive they could possibly give is one that doesn't cost anything anyway. Uh, but, you know, gee, thanks, so I can go listen to some, you know, bar band or whatever it is. Uh, give a free concert, you know, real exciting there. Um, <laughs> you know, it's like, okay, uh, your incentive, we want you to do this and for, you, you know, we're going to bribe you with nothing. All right. Uh, but I mean, you know, other ones, silly. I mean, Maryland came out with a uh, uh, deal where they give uh, $100 to state employees. Okay. So of course, if you're a good little Democrat, because, you know, pretty much, Democrats are your mostly your state employees uh, in a solid blue state. You know they'll you know share the wealth with their people. Uh, just silly stuff. But the ultimate in stupidity, okay, has come out, and this is Ohio. Now Mike Dewine, the governor of Ohio, claims to be a Republican. Okay, I mean if there's anybody that's not a rhino, I couldn't even think of a better poster child for Republican in name only. All right. The guy's not a conservative. The guy's a jackass. But, you know, that's beside the point. And all those of you that live in Ohio, you know what I'm talking about. But so this is what came out uh, Wednesday night. And DeWine came out and announced a series of statewide drawings for everybody who receives a shot. Now, anybody who's under 18 and gets the shot, they'll be entered into a drawing for a four-year full scholarship to any of Ohio State's uh, state colleges and universities, including full tuition, room and board, books, the whole nine yards. Okay. Now, I can tell you what that costs because, as you all know, I just finished paying for it. Okay. And it was about a hundred grand. Uh, so... We'll look at that. So there's a hundred thousand dollars, and they're going to give away, you know, however many of these. But you know, there you go. But those that was for the people under eighteen. <clears throat> for those Ohioans that are over eighteen, 
if you get the jab, you have you can go and you will now be eligible for a one million dollar cash prize. I kid you not. One million dollar cash prize that they're going to give five of them away and they're going to do drawings uh, every Wednesday night beginning next week. Okay. Now, the funny part is what I think about this is, okay, you know, you get a hundred dollar check from Maryland if you're a state employee or you get a free beer, which is a couple of bucks or whatever it was. Okay. So, you know, Ohio here is literally giving you a lotto ticket for getting the jab. Congratulations. That's a dollar. Okay. And, you know, Anybody that doesn't know how crooked the lotteries are anyway, it's, I mean, there's been, God knows how many stories and, you know, people who figured out how to cheat the lotto system and win. So, you know, I wouldn't put this beyond <laughs> Ohio. It's like, oh, well, all of a sudden we'll have five people that will just give the money back to the government and we won't have to pay anything. Okay. Speculation there. Just saying I got no proof of that. Just, you know, squirrel cage work in there. But here's the funny part. How are they going to go on who is eligible for this? Oh, they're going to use the Ohio Secretary of State's public voter registration database. Great. So let me see if I got this straight. We'll have illegals eligible to elect to win the prize. Dead people for sure. Uh, you know, they've got to be in there. Uh you know, I mean, pick something. So, hey, you know, if we can get five dead people to win, they never come forward to collect it. And, hey, what do you know? The state's just got to keep the money. Oh, man. You know what? We tried this great thing to give give money to people, and the people just didn't come forward. They couldn't. They were six feet under. But God knows, you know, they voted. So, you know, they're on, on the... You know, needless to say, you get a whole bunch of people in Ohio thinking that DeWine is absolutely nuts. You know, welcome to reality. The rest of us have known this for years. Okay. Uh, but just kind of humorous as to what they're doing now, what some of these states are doing. You know, why in the world, if this, and logic, okay, gee, something I kind of like to use. If this vaccine is so good and prevents everything so well, why do they have to be giving away beers, donuts, days off, $100 gift cards, concert tickets, baseball tickets, a million dollars, scholarships, whatever it would be? If it's so good, people should be lining up because they want to, all right? You know, think about this one, uh, the, the play, the movie, whatever you want, you know, uh, Hamilton, Okay, a couple of years ago. You couldn't get a ticket for your life to go see that play. Okay, just it was not possible. All right, unless you knew somebody or was buy, buying your tickets for a year and a half out, you weren't getting tickets. That was what something people, and people would do that because they wanted it so bad. So they'd buy their ticket a year out. Now I can walk into the local drugstore no, no waiting in line. So it's quicker to get the vax than it is to get gasoline today. And yet nobody go. So what's the problem here, guys? Could it be that the American public is smarter than the politicians and the politicians only resource is let's pay them again. You know, maybe that'll do it. Hey, if we pay people, they won't go to work. Hey, if we pay people, they'll get the vax. I'm sorry, but I'm not a pincushion. I'm not a lab rat. I'm not a guinea pig. And a chance to win a million dollars ain't making any difference to me. Okay? So, but this, folks, is the stupidity that we have elected in different political office. Okay. In this case, Ohio. Congratulations, guys. You voted for a moron. Uh, but you know, hell for all I know, you know, it, you know, like I said, all the people in the cemetery voted for him, but hopefully 
when he's up for re-election, the people in Ohio will say, sayonara, let's put somebody in here who has a couple of brain cells to put together. But then again, that doesn't matter anyway, because we have 46 in the White House, and we all know how that one went. So, just thought you might like to know the latest in Stupidity USA today. Have a good one. Pinball out.